Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and I am just doing a regular old get ready with me, but um, today I thought I would do, I would use the, what is that, the Vita Labrata Beauty Blur, and right now I'm putting on the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Um, this was Saturday, and I got up from a nap, took a shower, and Brooke and I were going to the movies, and so I decided just to turn the camera on. And <laughs> latte, I said the color is latte. So I wanted you to see how pretty this is. And how I use it, you know, without any foundation or anything with it. Um, and right now when I'm doing this um, recorded voiceover, we are having a thunderstorm. So this is going to be a spooky video. <laughs> It is thundering and lightning out there, but I wanted to go ahead and do this. So I'm putting that beauty blur all over and a little bit more and just putting it on my neck too. It's so pretty. And it rubs in. It doesn't feel, it doesn't, it's so neat. It doesn't feel like makeup. It feels more like skincare, but yet it gives you such good color. This is the Tarte Shape Tape in light medium, and I'm just doing the center of my face, and then, let's see, yeah, I'm getting that It brush, the dual-ended It brush, and just, that Tarte Shape Tape concealer is almost like foundation. It really spreads well and has good coverage, and I switched to the smaller side just to kind of spread it out and get it up in the corners of my eyes and then you'll see I'll switch back out to the big one so that I can buff it in and then this gives me enough brightness and coverage in the center of my face just like that so this is a really quick easy and I'm just using the excess on my jawline and let's see, I think the next thing I'm going to do is set it all with the Charlotte Tilbury powder. Yes, this is number two. And this is a It Cosmetics brush. I'll put all the names down below. Okay, this is the Lancome bronzer. And that is the sheer cheek brush from Smashbox. So I'm just kind of bronzing and contouring and shaping and all that kind of stuff lightly with this. And that bronzer is not matte. It has a bit of a sheen and shimmer to it. Okay, and this is one of my favorite products now lately. And it is the Charlotte Tilbury, I guess it's called the Magic Wand, I think. And it's like a really pretty highlight, but no sparkle or anything. It's just... It's hard to describe. And I just kind of go around underneath my eyes, and I like to put it right up on my forehead, too, right there. It doesn't look oily or anything. And I just kind of put them in my smile lines, just brightening up that whole area. Okay, and then this is... Um, another It Cosmetics brush, goodness, and that was MAC Warm Soul Blush. Okay, this is my usual Minor Sin from Urban Decay Lid Primer. And I'm just spreading that everywhere, all over. Okay, and now I'm doing my brows with the Anastasia brush and the Anastasia brow powder in medium brown. Pretty sure that's medium brown. It's either medium brown or taupe, but I'm pretty sure it was medium brown. Nothing special or fancy, just filling them in. Mm -hmm. 
just filling in the top and the bottom and then just kind of spreading it out and then extending the bottom or the tail a little bit. And then brushing them out. And then this is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Okay, and this is the Tom Ford um, number 13 brush. And what I'm using is that new pigment I showed you guys from MAC, the Naked Dark, and it's perfect. This night I was going for kind of a light makeup look. I'm trying to practice a little tiny wing. You'll see in a minute I'm having a hard time with it. Because my eyes are so round, it's hard to find the perfect place to stop. So I took a Sedona Lace brush and I'm going up underneath with that same pigment from MAC. It's just a good, you know, kind of no eyeshadow, eyeshadow. It's probably especially good for blue eyes because it does have a warm tone to it. Okay, and now I'm going in with one of my favorite, all-time favorite shadows, the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy. And that just um, gives a little brightness right there by the lash line. And then I do right at the top of the brow and then the inner corner. Okay, and here we go with the eyeliner. Sorry, part of this was cut off. Eventually, I will get this. I show this side really good. And this is the Clinique liner. I'll put the exact name of it down, but I like it. So you can see I just did a little wing on the very outside. Oh uh, yeah, I had to take my hair down out of the towel because the towel was like about to fall off. I need some more of the turbans. <laughs> and you'll see that red spot on my forehead. I am not sure what's going on with that. That it's been flaking off right there. I don't know if it started doing that as soon as I started using the Zo skincare. And I don't know if maybe that was a curling iron burn or something that the skin was different or what that was, but so I had just scrubbed my face and so it was red. Okay, I was fixing that little wing and so I'm having to replace some of that shadow that I wiped off when I was fixing the little baby wing. This is a new product that I really like. It's the Lancome Rosy Glow Lip Balm and it's um. I don't know if I'd wear it on its own, but it feels good, and it's kind of plumping, not in a stinging way, but just kind of smooths your lips. I thought about just wearing it, but I think I ended up using something else. And then I'm just brushing out my hair, and I knew it was going to be, you know, muggy and humid outside, so I just did a real quick hair hairstyle, nothing good. And this is the Dior Pump and Volume Mascara. And I really do like this. But it does seem to dry out kind of quick. But I do like it. I think I just like the brush, how good, how close it gets to the lash line. And then this is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. And I just like to put a, just a little bit on my lower lashes. And kind of pull them out. And then this is a Mary Kay Lash, Mary Kay Mascara. I can't remember what it's called now, but it's really good. It's a volumizing for sure and it's good to go over 
another one. Just gives you extra. And I knew I didn't want to wear lashes. Okay, and this I always have to do this. This is that's just the Clinique soft brown pencil, but I like to try to match that one arch to the other brow. And a lot of times it just takes a pencil to do it. Okay, this is the MAC Radiant Rose Prep and Prime, and I'm just doing it to brighten up under there. Anytime I lose weight, you can really, really see it in my face, and I get more hollow right there. So I'm just kind of brightening that up. I need to put the rest on that spot. Okay, and I think I had decided I wanted my hair down the middle or towards the middle. I'm just brushing it out. And I don't think, I can't remember exactly what I put in it that night. Uh, probably just heat protectant. Probably the Wow Coconut Elixir. But I, I knew that it probably was not going to look that good because I like my hair better when it's slept on. Okay, this is the T3 hair dryer. And a lot of times if I'm wearing my hair, trying to wear it straight, I'll use this instead of the Elkim because it's not as strong and I feel like sometimes it's better I don't know I feel like it's a calmer blow dryer maybe it does better with a calmer hairstyle and that's that same brush I was showing you last time that has the I think it's they called it a porcupine brush oh my camera must have cut off and then I'm just doing the other side basically just trying to get the roots off of my head and dry them a little bit and then I'm just getting the bulk of the wet out and now I'm using that huge Olivia Garden brush which kind of just smooths the only thing is it's so big you know it doesn't get up towards your part so sometimes you have to yeah do this and this is the tangle teaser round brush I really like it it really grabs your hair and holds it you know kind of strong so you can try to straighten your hair a little bit I was really hoping that I would not have to use any flat iron or anything so I went ahead and finished drying it but you can see it's just I just have frizzy hair and then when you bleach it it makes it worse so I took my Olivia Garden paddle brush and this is the GHD flat iron and I just if I really wanted it to be straight I know I would need to do section by section but I just feel like I felt like it wasn't worth all the damage. I just basically wanted to smooth just the just the bulk of it enough to go out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry. This is like a Tales from the Crypt tutorial. Okay, here's my spooky hair. And I just brush it out to try to get it all straight. And, you know, I've sprayed heat protectant. I feel like that's spreading the heat protectant out too. Down below, if you guys have a favorite flat iron that you feel like works the best. Oh, I was getting hot. Um, let me know. I swear I like this one but I feel like the regular GHD might do a better job at straightening but I feel like this one everybody says it's better for your hair okay this is an old product that I saw and bought again and it's a smoother I think it's by bedhead and it, you put it on your hair after it's dry and it just basically smooths it down and, and makes it shine I think it's called I can't remember what it's called, but I'll put it down below. And I think that's about it.
and I always know I can put it back in ponytail, but I was just kind of, now I'm just brushing that through. And I believe that is it. Oh, okay. This is a new top that I've been meaning to show you guys. And it is from Nordstrom. And it's a little BP. It was inexpensive. And um, I didn't think I was going to like it at first because I didn't realize how crop top it was when I first got it. And um, But it comes right to the waist of my Leah by Citizens of Humanity jeans and um, so I ended up liking it and I knew I was going to take a jacket with me to the movies so I believe this was it and oh no nope. and this is oh I remembered this lipstick and I love it it's the by Terry and um, I'm hoping it's still available I haven't even looked it up but it's that pink with some pearl to it it's just really pretty and brightening and that is it and then this is Brooke and I at the movies. We went to go see Ocean's 8. It was really good. And this was outside of Ulta. We went there first. And then that is the whole outfit. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you real soon. Bye-bye. And there's Chanel sleeping on her back. <laughs>